all wet hulled coffees come from Indonesia. That's the only place in the world where this particular processing wrinkle happens. And what does that mean, Ken, wet hold? In Sumatra, where I've observed this process closely over the years, the uh, wet hauling is really just a, a traditional Indonesian variation on the wet method or the washed method. The coffee is usually uh, picked, you remove the skin. I'm sure most uh, viewers know that the, the coffee cherry is, uh, has a skin that's removed in a step called pulping through a standard machine called a pulper. And then there's some sticky fruit flesh or mucilage that's traditionally removed through fermentation and washing. And what's left is what's called the parchment skin. And the parchment skin is a, is a woody sort of skin that uh, after the, the coffee's dried, it just pops off like maybe a nut skin or something. The point about the parchment skin is it has no, it doesn't impart any flavors or tendencies to the bean, sensory tendencies. So typically in the wet method, after the washing of the mucilage or the fruit flesh, then the coffee is dried in the parchment. And the coffee is usually called parchment coffee. So it's dried down to 12 to 14 percent in the parchment. Well, in wet hauling, it's just one variation that would seem to be not very important but it turns out to be very important in terms of giving the coffee a certain character that we associate with Indonesia. And what happens is they're small producers and they pick the coffee, they, they pulp it or remove the skin in the typical way, small machines, and they ferment it in bags usually overnight. And in the morning they wash it in whatever water they have available. So that's just a small producer variation on the traditional method. But what happens in Sumatra is that people usually called mil middlemen or middle people, <laughs> yes, come in trucks down the streets of the villages and they pick that coffee up. Well, the coffee is still very moist. In percentage terms, it probably has 40% moisture. And they take it to mills and uh, close by usually to where it's been picked up. And at the mills, it's dried a little bit more, but not a lot. So at this point, it maybe has 30 to 40% moisture still in the bean. The beans are still soft. At that point in Sumatra, they're hulled. In other words, the, the, that woody parchment skin is removed by special machines that treat the coffee, the soft coffee, very gently. They have, they're made of rubber inside the, the, the parts that, that actually move the coffee. So this is one of the reasons why I think nobody outside Indonesia practices this process because the, they have to have a special hulling machine. So then you have a coffee that is at much higher than, than it's usually shipped, 30 or 40 percent. It's dried the rest of the way. Sometimes it's dried down in the port in Medan in Sumatra. And it's dried down to 14 percent, 12 to 14 percent. And then it's shipped. Then it's kind of a recognizable green bean at that point. So in a sense, it's a very small deviation from the standard washed process. The deviation is the parchment skin is removed when the coffee is still moist. Something happens <laughs> with at that point. There's a guy named Tony Marsh from Australia, who, an uh, academic who spent some time studying it. So that's why it's called wet hulling, because it's hauled when the, the beans are still wet. Well, somewhere in that sequence, the, the coffee picks up the famous Sumatra earthiness. So it's a kind of really a kind of mustier mildewed note, but 
it, it has a, a certain, at the best ones, have a fruity character as well. So it's a kind of a fruity, earthy character that we all know, I think, who all of us who love Sumatra coffees and recognize. If, it, if something goes wrong, of course, it tastes dirty instead of earthy. But uh, the best ones, which are bought by people who know Sumatra coffees, know how to buy the best ones. And, and they're, the best ones, uh, this whole supply chain is managed usually by an exporter who knows how to get that, that profile. So that's wet hulling. And it's unique. It has a unique sensory character. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more shows like this.